Addison, you like sushi, right? I love sushi. Well, call T-Mac. Tell him, ask him where the spot's at. I got you. Hey, what's up, Addy? T-Mag, where's the sushi spot at? We need something good to eat. Me and Carl are hungry. What you got for us? Well, why don't you guys go to uh, Sushi Lounge? It's right by the skate park in uh, Cardiff. The one that they call Poods. Awesome, perfect. Thank you so much. Yeah, let's go find it. Let's, right. come on. I'm not sure. It's gotta be around here somewhere. Oh, I think it's over here. Come Where? on, Sushi oh, Lounge. That's, there it is. That's the place. Come on, we gotta go. There it is, let's do yeah, this. Let's go. Thank you. All right. Nice. Thank you. It's, it's upside down. I'm just kidding. I got it. <laughs> what, what kind of sushi do you like? I like tuna. Uh -huh. I like seared tuna. Oh, yeah? Rainbow rolls are good. Ooh, those are good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. are, are you a roll person or like nigiri? Sushi piece person. Okay, so or I've had sashimi before, but I've never had nigiri. nigiri. That's just with the little rice and a little strip of seaweed. Yeah. You never we, had that? That's got fish on it too, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, I've never had one of those. Oh, I'd like really? to, yeah, I want, I want to try one. Okay. But you've had sashimi, just straight raw fish mm -hmm. before? Yeah. And then you probably had different rolls? Yes, lots of different rolls, but then I just had sashimi on um, Valentine's Day. We went to an authentic Japanese restaurant. In Georgia? Uh-huh. You're from Georgia, right? Uh-huh. They have sushi in Georgia? Yeah. Is that close to the ocean? It's, that's what I'm saying. Like, okay, so it took me <laughs> to find an authentic Japanese restaurant for me to actually order the sashimi. That's why I never did it before, because I don't trust. Right. Right, but out here, it's like, oh yeah, like, sushi's gonna be good here. Right, right. So I'm, I'm really thrilled and excited for nice. that. Nice. Ooh, the red dragon sounds kind of good, too. Red dragon. Mm-hmm. Spicy crab, cucumber. Yeah, get one of those. So you're gonna get a rainbow roll and a, and a red dragon? Uh-huh, and then I'll try. Red dragon. Ooh, and I'm Canadian. You're a Canuck. So I'm technically am a red dragon. Oh, dude, you can do, go hang out with the Desenzos. And tell them to call TJ me. TJ Rogers and <laughs> who else is on the red dragons? Bill Weiss, uh, Moses, Colin McKay. Dude, um, there's a, it's a posse, dude. Isn't Mickey Papa part of that too? I think so. Yeah, that's I a, think that's he a, is. There's a bunch of heads. Mm -hmm. Dude, red dragons. Red dragons. <laughs> Represent. Ah. Are you two ready to get some sushi started? Yeah, yes. yeah. Yes, please. Yeah. Ladies first. Um, I would like a rainbow roll. Okay. And a red dragon roll. Okay. Toto. You have Toto today? We do. Oh yeah, let's do the one with Toto. And then um, let's do mackerel, Saba. And um, a large hot sake, please. Were you two sharing it? With yes. Two boxes? Yes, please. Okay. And I'll have another Tony Hawk Tony Hops. Hops. What's this called? Tony Hawk Hops? Tony, Tony Hops. Hops. Tony, Tony Hops. Black Plague. Black Plague, represent. Um, <laughs> do you want a 16 ounce pint or 22 ounce? A pint, please. Okay. All right. It, start there. Anything else we think we should get? We should get like edamame? Yes, I do. Okay. We have regular salted or garlic. Garlic sounds good. Garlic. Have you had that one before? Uh-uh. Oh, it's something new. Ours is like a little sweet. It's really good. Okay. Welcome to Cali. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Oh, get this ready here. Let's get ready. We got some, we got some. Yeah, the Tony Hops for you. Tony Hops. Yeah, represent. And then, would you two like me to do your first pour of the sake? What, what? The first pour of the sake. Uh, you're going to do it, right? Yeah. T traditionally. Yeah, God yes. luck if you do. Yeah, did you know that? Right. Japanese tradition, you're not supposed to pour your own drinks. Okay. But sometimes I'm, I get too antsy and I can't wait for my wife to give me the next thing. I'm like, dude, I'm thirsty. So I just grab it myself. Okay. But good. traditionally, Japanese tradition, you never pour your own drinks. 
And you never pour it on everybody else. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Here. Kanpai. Cheers. Cheers. That's how you say cheers in Japanese. How? Kanpai. Kanpai. Yeah. Kanpai. Bam. <laughs> It's hot. Woo. What do you think? Is it, that's your first time having sake? Hot, hot sake? sake? Yeah. Nice. Kind of like how it feels going down, though. You gotta say sake. Sake. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> All right. So where are, you, where are you from, Addison? I'm from, originally I'm from Newmarket, Ontario in Canada. But I only lived there for a short period of time before moving to um, Atlanta, Georgia area. Hot Atlanta. Yeah. So. That's the South, right? Uh huh. Sweet and tea. Sweet tea and. Barbecue. And barbecue and fried fried food. Pickled feet. Pickled feet. Pickled pig's feet. Um, I try to stay away from. Soaked in Kool Aid. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds accurate. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. So, uh, how long have you been? living in Georgia for? Um, 26 years now. Oh, okay. We're going on 26 years. I'm 26 years old, but I've been there pretty much my whole life, so. All right. About, and you, about 26 years. And when did you pick up the board? When did I pick up the board? Let's see. I was definitely influenced by skateboarding probably around early middle school, I want to say, or no, elementary school. The fir My first, like, exposure to skateboarding I feel like mm -hmm. was I went and hung out with one of my friends because they lived right next to my elementary school mm -hmm. and so we just walked from school to their house and they played Nintendo 64 all the time all right. so I'd sit there and watch him play Nintendo 64 uh -huh. and he got Tony Hawk Pro Skater 2 when it first came out mm. and so I would just sit there and watch that and then I would go back to school and try to like emulate the tricks I saw in the game uh -huh. just like like how people play air guitar, right. I was like air skateboarding. <laughs> like I would like, people would be walking in a single file line. And you were? I was jumping out of the line to pretend to back tail a curb. <laughs> so yeah, that was the you, kid I was You, you probably up. looked like you had like HDDD or somewhere that like ADD, whatever. Yeah, 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 people probably thought <laughs> like, something was wrong with me, but I just really wanted to go skate. <laughs> That's so rad. <laughs> yeah, but I didn't end up asking for a skateboard until I was like, somewhere around like fifth grade. So that was third grade. And then uh -huh. I asked for a board for in fifth grade. Uh -huh. But then like, it didn't really compute my mind. Like it was kind of scary, it didn't make much sense. Mm. So I ended up selling that board for more than it was worth oh. to a friend. Coming up, you're a hustler. Yeah, yeah, a hustler since day one. Oh yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Look, the two phones, uh, that's right. So anywho, yeah. <laughs> And then it wasn't until like middle school or something like that that I was like, okay, I need another skateboard. Like I, I have to do this. I can't like not. And then I played hockey too. So a lot of the kids at the hockey rink would always have their skateboards. Mm -hmm. So like, because my dad kind of ran the concession stand there mm -hmm. and um, sold burgers and stuff like that, I would just sit there and watch people skate by all day. So it was just something I kind of fell in love with right away. Ah. And yeah. You grew up around it. Mm -hmm. But then it took me, and then so probably around 17, 16 or 17 is when I really started taking it seriously though. And I was, because I couldn't play hockey anymore and I just moved on to skateboarding. What, what made you take it more serious, you think? Um, Ooh, just because there you go. I kind of just like stopped playing hockey as much. Yeah, look at this. And like kind of lost interest in that. And okay. then it was kind of like I was used to already being on wheels mm -hmm. and I didn't want to like run around because most sports you have to like run. But the whole like push, 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 push and then coast mm -hmm. was really nice. I that really sounds like a song. Yeah, Lupe. Ah, <laughs> yes. <laughs> I love that song. Um, yeah. <laughs> so that was kind of like one of the things that helped translate from playing roller hockey, mm -hmm. going to skateboarding. It kind of just clicked, I guess. Okay. And yeah, I just... Love, I love that feeling of freedom when you're just, you know, riding four yep. wheels on the ground yep, and yep. just going. Nice. Try one of these. Love to. These are the garlic edamame. Yeah. First time for Addison trying garlic edamame. Mine too here. Mmm. It's mm. a great accent with the sesame seeds. Yeah, I like it. Mmm. Oh, you got the boneyard right here too. Okay. Mmm. Very savory. Yeah. <laughs> I like it. 
It's got a little, little sweetness to it. Mm-hmm. So it's like, like a vegetarian hot wing. Or not hot wing, barbecue wing. It's like yeah. chicken wings, but like... You're familiar with that, because you're from Georgia. Yeah. So like, what'd you grow up eating? Um, what'd your parents feed you? Well, speaking of like the whole like hockey skateboarding thing, that was a reward that my dad would take me to go get. Sometimes we'd go get like little trays of sushi from like Kroger or whatever, you know, grocery store. Sushi in Georgia? Yeah, just grocery store stuff. You have sushi in Georgia? Yeah, we do. Nuh uh. Yeah. Is it real fish? That's, um, <laughs> that's definitely uh, debatable on whether it's real or not. Oh, okay. <laughs> But yeah, that, I mean, he totally, my dad's the one who exposed me to sushi. But other than that, like growing up, we'd mm. eat a lot of chicken and stuff like that. So. Fried chicken? No, it was, it was more like grilled or baked chicken. But did he make it? Um, yeah, my mom or dad. We didn't, I don't think my parents are too big on like fried food and stuff like that or processed food. So my dad was always like, don't eat too much processed food. Like they kind of taught me like how to eat a little bit healthier sometimes and stuff like that too so okay maybe why i'm a bean pole that's good though <laughs> yeah oh but growing up too spaghetti was like one of my favorite foods too mm. just classic spaghetti and who made that for you uh, my mom and she made really good like meatballs and stuff spaghetti and sweet and sour meatballs and all that kind of stuff and it, that was always delicious like I homemade mm -hmm. nice I love, I love homemade food Absolutely. If it's, if it's made correctly. <laughs> mm -hmm. It can either be a dream come true or a nightmare. Right. Uh -huh. True that. <laughs> Did you find it challenging to be a vegan in Georgia? Absolutely. Because there's not a whole lot of vegan options out there. It's nothing like California where it's very accommodating. Mm -hmm. It's very accepted and widespread. Right. Uh, people out here seem to be a little bit more health conscious in a way. Mm -hmm. Like. It's my kind of people, but yeah. Yeah, you're moving here. Yeah. You're moving here soon. I can see it already. Yeah. You can see it in my eyes. Yeah. Yeah, I want to be here. Yeah. <laughs> you will. What's your favorite food that you love? At this point, I'd probably have to go with sushi. Oh, we're at the right spot. We're at the right spot. We're that's, sushi. That's, yeah, that's totally why I was like, I love sushi, so. Awesome. It's just fun. It's fun. It's sushi is fun. I like using chopsticks. It took me a while to learn. Do you know how to use them? Uh-huh. Did you, did you ever have the cheater ones with the rubber band on it? No, never. Do you need some? No. Okay. Just Absolutely. checking. How many times have you had sushi out in Cali? This is actually my very first time, so I guess it's a great thing that we're oh, documenting wow. it. Yeah, this is oh, cool. nice. Wow. Look at what we got here. Ba bam All right, let's do this. That is, All right, hold on, sir. That looks wonderful. Holy crap. Bam, bam. Boom, boom, boom. Like, what are those? All right. What is? Oh my oh, gosh! You're oh, gonna have to tell oh, me this is the <laughs> this is the plat this is the special um, order that I picked for us. Oh my god, I'm thrilled. Yeah. So um, what we got here, this one right here is sea urchin, okay. uni. Does that look weird to you? Wait, say the sea urchin. Uh, 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 Wait, would you say in, that? In uni? Japanese, uni. Uni. Yeah, I'm trying to speak the ah, tongue. Yeah, uh, uni. Yeah, you got it. Uni. But you know what this looks like in real life? It looks like peanut butter. No, like like before it comes out under this thing. Oh, <laughs> what? It's like a shell with a bunch of spikes around it. Cool. In the ocean. So it so, looks pretty vicious. Yeah, but once you crack it open, that's the goodness in there. Right. So that's why it's got all the spikes to keep to keep everyone out of there. Keep everyone out of the goodness right there. This one right here is ama ebi. This is a uh, raw shrimp. Ama ebi. Ama ebi. Ama ebi. Yeah. Gotcha. So sometimes when you order it, they'll bring it to the table with you, and it, the thing will be crawling around the table to prove to you that it's fresh and raw. Right? Are you serious? Yeah, and then, and then they'll take it back, chop the head off, deep fry the head, dip the head in a little bit of soy sauce, wasabi, and eat, crunch on that. You, you, you're used to this. You're from the South. I know you can eat this. Yeah, you so I like, can eat its head or yeah, something? Yeah, this is crunchy. It's like, okay. it's like shrimp potato chips. Yeah, I'll eat, I'll eat a head. I'm sure you eat crawfish in the South, right? Yeah. Yeah, this, this, this yeah is nothing. They, they do some crawdad. Oh, see, look. See, they can eat this Crawdad here. parties. No. It's just like that, huh? Mm-hmm. And then this one, I think you've had this one before. Mm -mm. This is ikora. Ikora. This is salmon, salmon roe eggs okay. with, with a quail egg on top. Okay. Have you had that? Mm -mm. No? I always like putting a little dash of Tabasco on top of one of these. 
Well, you like Tabasco? I love Tabasco. Okay, we'll oh see if God, they have some. I came out here and bought my own Tabasco jar, uh, and now it's gone. Oh. Like, that's how much I love Tabasco. Nice, and yeah. I've only been here for, like, less than a week. Do you ready to stock, <laughs> stock up and take some back to Georgia with you? Well, it's funny you say that. Out here, you guys have scorpion-flavored hot uh, Tabasco. Oh, the different ones. So I never saw that in Georgia, so I definitely got a tube uh, or a bottle to nice. take back home. Nice. And it's... It's hot. It's very right. hot. Yeah, they had the but, different ones here. Right. But my only, all right, so here's my thing about Tabasco and why I love Tabasco. Uh -huh. So Tabasco is uh, not only a delicious and tasty hot sauce, but it also is very low sodium. Mm -hmm. So compared to like Texas Pete and even some of the flavored Tabascos, nothing compares because like the scorpion sauce, for instance, one teaspoon is 200, milligra 200 milligrams of sodium. And for me, it's a little bit much. Yeah. So that's why I like regular Tabasco because it's just got like it's a little bit very low low sodium content. Ah. Yeah. All right. So I don't even I don't even I don't even bother with stuff like Texas Pete. That's just too much salt. Too much salt. Why? You don't like salt? Uh uh. Like I don't know. I think everything's good in moderation, but you never want to put too much salt or sugar in your body. I don't think. True. Balance. And, and when it comes to skateboarding, I want to skateboard it's about longevity for me so I want to skateboard as long as I can so it's like what I put in my body totally matters I just like to be self-aware and conscious of what I'm doing to myself because what I do today affects me tomorrow correct good and food is your medicine good. it's either yes. food's your medicine or a bunch of you know pharmaceuticals become your medicine right Rather so you pay for it now or pay for it later absolutely I always talk to people about that yeah like, you better eat healthy now or you're going to be paying medication. Like, which way you want to go? Right. You know? Because some people say, oh, it's too expensive. I'm at the grocery store. It's too expensive to buy this. I don't want to buy organic avocados. It's too much. <laughs> you know? But if you start looking at food as your medicine, then you, what's the problem? Exactly. So. Exactly. That's what, that's what we're doing here. We're trying to, we're trying to, you know. Spread awareness about yes. Share with the about world consciousness. Yeah, and, and, and why food should be considered a medicine and not just always. It's not just always a delicacy and a luxury. It is right, but should definitely be aware of that. So definitely glad we could bond. Don't over that. don't overindulge. Right. Keep it balanced. Mm -hmm. It's like back in the days, before technology was all crazy. People were hunting for their food for their for their animal meat, mm -hmm. and they weren't just. It took days to get that, you know, and they would, they would not waste anything, probably. Absolutely. The fur, the meat, everything. But nowadays, it's like, <laughs> can I get a burger, you know? And that's when problems start to happen. Absolutely. You can take it for granted, you know? Mm -hmm. Oh, we got something else coming here. Oh, more. dude. I know you guys have a lot going on right now. That's all right. That's okay. Watch this. Yeah, bring it on. Bring it on. We're going to make room right here. Yeah. Watch this. I can take the plates out of your way too. No way. Yeah, I don't know if we need these. Okay, so this is the red dragon. Ooh. We'll put this to the side. Red dragon, straight out of Canada. <laughs> red dragon represent <laughs> Canucks in the down. house. Is that bad to say Canucks? Mm, I don't know. To me, it sounds weird, like when I say Canucks. Yeah, I don't. It kind of sounds, I feel like I'm saying the N word in a, in a way. <laughs> like nips, you know? You thought I was going to say the other one, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Either way, yeah, no, I don't care. I'm not easily offended, I guess. I mean, that's, okay. that's the weird thing about today's day and age is there's too much offense. Right? That's, that's, that's okay. Yeah. We're not here to talk about that. We're talking about food here. Oh, yeah. What's this one again? So that is a whole Aji, and then Aji, the insides thank you. are right below it. Oh, so this is Aji altogether. Yeah, all of it. My bad, well, this is, I thought it was mackerel, but I ordered mackerel no, 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 over the here. Mackerel be, will be coming on out. a separate plate. So this is Aji. Aji. And we can eat this whole thing? I don't know if you want to eat like the outsides, but like, like eat the, the okay. for sure. I think you can eat this too. I think it's like, yeah. I think everything but the tongs. Yeah, kind of like potato chips, I think. Okay. okay. I, I personally haven't tried it, but yes, everything You want to try one? <laughs> sure, I'll try it. What do you want to try? The, this one or this one? Whatever you're trying. I, are you trying Where's your chopstick? You gotta try it too. You, you gotta know your product, right? I do need to know my yes. product, you're right. Yeah, she's gonna yeah. try it with us. Awesome. Yeah, yeah. Team, teamwork. Makes the dream work. There we go. Do you wanna try it with sauce or no sauce? What I do you mean by sauce? Soy sauce? Well, see, sometimes we do this. This is what I do sometimes. I'll do this. Mix little, the wasabi little, and the soy sauce, absolutely. Just a little bit though, just a little bit of soy sauce. I love that combo. Here, you, you hook it up too. You want a little bit too? 
I'm going to need to try it without the sauce. So pure. I know, yeah, so I know what I'm talking okay. about. Okay, okay. I'm going to try it pure too then. Okay. I'm, okay, I'll leave that there. So the ginger here, you mm -hmm. know what this does to you? What's that? So you take a little bit of ginger mm -hmm. and you eat it, cleans your palate. Okay. Cleans your tongue off, all that other crap you had during the day. Mm -hmm. So you can get ready to enjoy the pureness of this. Aji. Aji. Cool, I love ginger. You want to take some ginger too, clean your palate? Sure, I will. And I did recently learn that, that you're not supposed to eat it with the sushi, but after the sushi, like you said, to clean your palate. Yeah. Now I know why. Well, I've actually seen some Japanese people actually dip this in the soy sauce wasabi and put it on top of the nigiri sushi and then eat it. Okay. I've seen that too. Okay. But different styles for everybody, I think, right? Yeah. Yeah. All right, go for it, pick your piece. Okay. Aji. I'm gonna try this. Try it straight? You're gonna yeah, try it straight? I'm gonna try it straight. Go first. for it. Okay. I'm scared. Oh, hang on. You need a cheater chopsticks? <laughs> you know what? No, I got it. Okay. You see that? All right. You ready? Cheers. Cheers. Oh, oh, you already downed it. Whatever, it's cool. It's cool. We no, it's all good. It's all good. No, good. Thank you for helping us. Yeah. You like that? Yeah, I do. I really like that. Mmm. Got the little hint of ginger in there. Mm -hmm. Ginger is delicious. And yeah. it's a natural anti inflammatory exactly. for your stomach, too. So, exactly. We're talking about that medicine right here. Yeah. You know what's up? Mm hmm. Food medicine. Absolutely. Maybe make a new show called Food Medicine by Skaters. <laughs> I think All right. you're onto something. So, you got your little wasabi soy sauce there. Mm -hmm. Bam, you did that? Yeah, let me try some in there now. Yeah. I want to try it with the Aji now with that little bling bling here. All right. Mmm. I love wasabi. If you ever have a stuffed nose. Just snort some, <laughs> right? Is that what you're about to say? If you have a stuffed nose, just do a line of wasabi. <laughs> <laughs> For some reason, I think you've done that. <laughs> have you done that? Maybe on accident. Oh. Maybe like, you know, you're trying to eat sushi and oh. you're like, accidentally? No. <laughs> no. But totally, um, that stuff will clean you out. Mm -hmm. It's beautiful. Oh, yeah, definitely. So are you still eating this one? Yeah, do it. Okay. It's kind of cool. I like we're eating the mystery plate first before what you really what you really wanted to eat. Oh, I love mystery, mis mystery and mystique, mystery. Yeah. It's beautiful. Broadening my horizon right Aji. now. Aji, this is Aji. 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 I like Aji. I wonder what this is like. I have a feeling we can eat the whole thing here. My hands are clean, okay? Okay. I trust you. That's a, those are some strong words there. You wanna try that piece, like eating that meat? Take a crunch off that. Or you want to take a crunch off this? It's all fried, so I think it's like crispy. Yum. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Let's try this one. That is really good. Oh, try this one. Okay. You eat like a potato chip. <laughs> yeah, it's like a potato chip. It's a fish potato chip. Fish chip. Mmm. It's like pork rinds, but fish. Yeah. I love it. Pork rinds. You're from the south. I'm from the south. I know all about some pork yes. rinds. Mmm. So I just tear it off and eat where the meat's at. Okay. Take that, that, that left side. Everything's pretty much edible because deep fried. This is delicious. Here. There you go, Nemo. Okay, we gotta try this one too now. Which one? Right here? She said that's the innards. Okay. The innards of the Aji fish. You want to get in on this innards with me? Yeah. The innards. That's that's a tiny ass piece. Come on. Okay. Go big or go home, right? Go big or go home. There that's, you go. Cheers. That's skateboarding talk right there. Mm-hmm. Mmm. Hmm. Really mild. Yeah. It's just texture of anything. It's tech. You're right. It's texture. This is more flavor. Yeah. You get the flavor more in on that one. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. All right, let's go to the next one. Yum. 
Pick one. Um, I've been eyeballing this one. Okay, hold on. Time. You guys have Tabasco here? Yeah, we need sriracha. Okay, that'll work. Please. You like sriracha? Yeah, sriracha works. All right. See, I should have brought my tube of Tabasco. I know, I had it all, with you all the time. A little no. keychain Tabasco. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I thought about this a long time ago. Keychain sriracha. Because sriracha got so big mm -hmm. and someone, someone did it. Somebody did keychain sriracha? Yeah. Well, we should do Tabasco. Tabasco keychain? Yeah. Oh. Better. Let's do it. All right, I'm going to do this like this. I'm going to do a little chopstick. Boom. This little bloop, 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 bloop. Got some quail egg here with Yum. on top of some ikura salmon roe. Cheers. This this is a shot. Okay. Mm. <laughs> mm -hmm. You feel popping? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I really like that sensation. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Have you had that one before? Never. Oh. That was amazing though. Kind of like, like kind of like boba. Yeah. The, 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 that trendy tea drink I was drinking out with the little jelly things at the bottom. Yeah, you get the pop, but then I also like to cook my eggs. Like if I'm eating sunny side up eggs, mm -hmm. I love the runny yolk. Me too. So that's like. All right. Yeah, right up my alley. Nice. Yeah. Awesome. Here, take, take, a, take a little sip. Okay, sip, not a shot. Yeah. <laughs> I like to take little sips after each little bite. I'm learning. I'm learning the way. Yeah. Thank you for showing me the way. Carl. My pleasure. <laughs> this is great. I thought we were just talking about skateboarding. I like food. Yeah. <laughs> a little bit of skateboarding. Some food too. No, this is wonderful. You guys, I'm so stoked right now. <laughs> I'm stoked too. I'm, I'm, this is actually different. Because mm -hmm. we're actually sharing something new, kind of, a little in a way. No, a lot of this stuff is a new experience for me. All right. So I'm, I'm very you, thrilled. Nice. What do you want to try next? Um. Let's try. Mm. <laughs> let's go back and try since we had the fish first this time. Let's let's try the shrimp, the raw shrimp. Okay, so you gotta eat the raw shrimp on the ebby, and then we eat that as a dessert. Okay. You can use your hands on this one if you want. Okay. Yeah, it tastes better when you eat, eat with your hands. Okay. You ever notice that? Mm mm. If you eat with your hands, it tastes better. Okay. You can do a little dip dip if you want to. Yum. So what I've learned too. I've seen Japanese, they dip on the, on the fish side. Okay. Like that. Boom. Bam. Gotcha. And then. It's sweet shrimp. Wow. That's the best shrimp I've ever had. Yeah? Yeah. You like it? Mm-hmm. That texture doesn't trip you out? No, not at all. I like it. I like it. I like weird, juicy, yeah? creamy stuff like Rab. that. Yeah. Yeah. This is almost better than like cooked shrimp. Yeah. Because you got all the vitamins still in there. Yeah. Because <laughs> you lose so much sometimes I'm, when you cook stuff. Yeah. Right? Yep, yep. Rad. It's so rad. You eat Amebi? No, I like this one. Good job. Thank you. Wow, you're on it. I'm just waiting for you to puke, but you're not. <laughs> no, you're not going to see me puke today. None of this is going to make me puke. All this looks very appetizing to me. All right, let's go for the next one. Okay. Oh, we got to eat the heads. Yeah, we got to eat, eat the heads. So what, what I do with the yeah, heads... Show me the way. I'll show you the way. I just do a little dip dip, and then... Gotcha. And this one mm -hmm. really goes good with beer or sake. Okay. Or your, or your harbucha. My harbucha? Cool. It's a good pairing. I don't know what it is, but... Mmm. It's very crunchy. I can just eat the whole thing? Yeah. Wonderful. Mm-hmm. <laughs> eat the whole thing, you know, sip sip with some sake. Or your harbucha. Mm-hmm. What kind of harbucha is that again? Um... Come here. They have, it's, it's, they have it on tap here? Yeah, it's draft kombucha. Oh, nice. So they had me at that. I love kombucha. Me too. So when I was Ooh, looking, I like, to, I like to have, you know, when I go out of town, mm -hmm. I like to see what, what's local. Uh -huh. And of course, everything on draft is better than not on draft, mm -hmm. like canned or bottled. Mm -hmm. So when I saw draft kombucha, 
like done deal. Nice. Yeah. Mmm. And it's it's definitely delicious. And it doesn't taste. It doesn't have like a super alcoholic taste. It tastes more like kombucha. Summer, what's the name of that hard bucha you have here? Cali Mule. Cali Mule. Mm. Cali Mule hard bucha. Cali Mule hard. On bucha. tap. On tap. Dude, that's dope. Draft. It's delicious. That's dope. I, I recommend it's, it. It's from Local Roots. Local Roots. Local Roots Brewery. Or Kombucha Brewery. That's rad. Mm -hmm. I love kombucha. Same. It's good for your tummy. Yes, good for your stomach. Better than soda. Mm -hmm. But you still get that refreshing carbonation mm -hmm. if, you, if you like that kind of yep. stuff. Yep, yep, yep. You're funny. Like you like saying that uni for last, huh? The best for last. This one. This one's <laughs> the best. You're saying the best for last. Okay. Cool. Yeah. You ready? So good judgment call. You ready? Was we clean your palate real quick to get the full effect of the, mm -hmm. the flavors. Absolutely. Yeah. Come by again. Come by. Saki. <laughs> Saki. Yeah. My style. I, I I just like to. You could you could dip it if you want, but. I like to taste the pureness of this one. Or you can do this too if you want. This is what I do. I put a little wasabi on there. I'm going to put a little wasabi on there too because I love it. But it's your first time. Okay, so I'm going to try it. So if it's your first time, just dip it too. No, if it's your first time. No, I'm just, just going to go a little I'm dip. Just try, I'm going to try half plain. No, you got to down it. You just got to down, down it. it. These are small enough to down. Okay, then I'm just going to down it plain. You sure you don't want to do a little dip dip? Just I'll one, take your no, Just a little dip. There you go. That's good. All right. Salute. Cheers. <gasps> Uh-oh. You're good, you're good. <laughs> What's going through your mind right now? Like, lots of flavors. That was the best for last. What kind of flavors? You like, what's it remind you of? What kind of what? The flavors very seaweed and fishy, but it's also just like, almost like a paste. So it just kind of melted in like, my mouth. Like butter. Yeah, exactly. It was like fish butter and seaweed. Delicious. So I like to describe it as the ocean. You're like eating the smell of the ocean. Which I love. That's, that's, that's how I feel every time, every time I eat it. I was like, oh, I'm at the, I'm at the beach right now. <laughs> yeah, that's a good description. Yeah, like well, you, you got it on point though. Thank you. Yeah, that was, that was a good one. It took me like 27 years to, to finally hit that one. Really? Yeah. I, I had my Japanese friend get me faded in, his name is Kenta. Okay. It was in Pacific Beach at a rotating boat sushi place. We were eating together and he was like, you're going to eat that tonight. I was like, no, I'm not. Oh, no, I'm not eating that thing. That thing looks crazy, dude. It looks like, like an alien tongue or something. I'm not eating that. <laughs> Next you know, sake, beer, sake, and beer. I was just faded. I was like, screw it, I'll eat it. Yeah. I'll try it. And I ate it, I was like, <gasps> like, boo. Yeah. Like 27 years I wasted my life not to try that. I was like, dude, thank you so much for finally getting me to eat that, dude. Now it's like my favorite thing. Yeah, totally worth so it. So I go to a sushi place, I have to get one of those. Fair enough. If they don't, if they don't have that, <laughs> I'm like, oh, they don't have uni. Oh, no. And it's called uni? Yeah, sea urchin. Sea urchin, yeah, uni. the spiky one. Gotcha. Oh, nice. Here. Do you want me to go through these with you and tell you which one Okay, are? yeah, that'd be cool. Thanks, Michelle. All right, so this first one here is halibut. This All is right. octopus, toro in the middle, Ooh. and then we have mackerel, and then we have our uh, yellowtail. Yeah, Goodness. thank you. Enjoy. All right. Enjoy. Dude, we're getting mad grub here, dude. <laughs> I know, it's amazing. Dude. Pick one, go for it. I like the octopus because it has lemon on it. Okay, go for it. Now, do I eat it with the lemon peel too? Good question. I, I don't know. I think I'm going to. All right, I'll, I'll do what you do. I'm gonna use my hand. It's a lot easier. Fair enough. A little backside, little backside dip dip. A little backside <laughs> dip dip. Yeah, backside dip. <laughs> oh yeah. That's good. Mm -hmm. that's, that's thinly cut. With, it's tender. Mm -hmm. I've been at some places where the octopus is really rubbery. Absolutely. You've had it rubbery? Yeah. In Georgia. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It probably is just tenderized rubber. Right? But this one's like really tender. Mm-hmm. Wow. Good job, Sushi Lounge. The 
le the lemon gives it a nice je ne sais quoi too. Oh, parlez-vous français? Ah <laughs> 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 uh, oui, oui. Awesome. <laughs> 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 mm. Which one next, Addison? Um, let's do the red one. So that's Toro. Toro. That's the, the uh, fatty tuna. Okay. So this is kind of like, instead of eating a New York steak, it's like eating the uh, Wagyu beef. It's not buttery. Okay. It's a buttery piece of the uh, tuna fish. Yum. Yeah, go for it. Sounds good. Yeah. Can I clear my palate first? Yeah, good idea. Look, I'm like done with the chopsticks. I'm just gonna be. <laughs> All, All right, right. So fatty tuna. And, yeah, cheers. cheers. Fatty tuna. Toto. Toto. <laughs> mm. Mm. It's like butter, huh? It is like butter. Trippy, right? Mm-hmm. It's, it's delicious. It's not like the, it's not like this tuna. Mm-mm. It's melt. It melts in your mouth. It melts in your mouth for sure. Hmm. I like that one. Me too. Kampai! Kampai! <laughs> yeah. Wonderful. Mm -hmm. Who are you skating for? Uh, Eighth Street Skateboards. What is that you're showing me there? You're showing me some bling bling. Uh huh. This is my. Is that thing right there? Mm hmm. What is that thing? That's the Eighth Street Mark logo. Yeah? Yeah. Where'd you get that from? I got that from the one and only Tony Magnuson. Team Mag gave you that? Yeah. Nice. Mm -hmm. All right. And then I got this little thing from our, my, my teammate on the Alpha Girls program we're doing. What is that, uh, Alpha Girls program? That is the girls division of H Street. So that's the project we've been working on lately. It's myself and my teammate, Ruby, Ruby Lily. And she, pardon me? Oh, sorry, is that something new? Yeah, oh. something brand new that we've been working on. Mm. Tell me we're more. All, we're all really excited about it. We came out here to do our official launch event for it, mm -hmm. and that turned out really fun. And then in addition to this, of course, it's got, got my name on it, so that's cool. H Street, issued to Addison Taylor Alpha Girls, Only the Faithful, mm -hmm. number 102, per sempre gratis. Mm-hmm. Nice. I like that. Yeah, pretty cool. That's rad. So that's, awesome. that's my that's my good luck charm now. Okay, now what do you want to eat next? Um, <laughs> let's try this one with the little cute green stuff on it. What's that onion? Uh, I think it's halibut. Yeah, green onions. That's halibut. And let me let me fill you up, Japanese style. Thank you. You're welcome. My pleasure. Just for the halibut. Just for the halibut. I'm dipping. <laughs> like I'm doing a little dip. Just a little dip. Yeah. I like the wasabi in there. I love wasabi. What do you think about that one? How about That one was yum. Yeah? A little bit more um, plain, mm -hmm. but delicious. Mm -hmm. To me, I guess I just like the texture of raw fish. It doesn't trip you out. Mm-mm. That's good. No. It's quite delicious. <laughs> it's good. Let's try this one next. All right, mackerel. Mackerel. I think it's Spanish mackerel. Holy mackerel. Holy mackerel. First we had just for the halibut, now it's holy mackerel. Kanpai! 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 <laughs> you ever part. you ever do a um, sake bomb before? Sake bomb, no, what's that? Uh, we'll save that for another episode. Okay. <laughs> we gotta skate after this. Yeah. We start doing sake bombs, we're not skating anywhere. <laughs> we're just gonna skate to uh, go skate that curve out Yeah, there. <laughs> and, and that's it. All right. You ready? Yeah, go for go it. Go for it. So this, this fish is a little more oily, pickled, pickled oily fish, mackerel. It's really good though. And a little bit more firm, has a little bit more flavor than the halibut. Yeah, definitely. It almost reminds me of a sardine. Yeah. And I love sardines. Yeah, mackerels I think are actually the bigger version of the sardine kind of. Fair enough, I that's think, exactly I, what it tastes like. I think like. they're in the same family, I think. Okay, yeah, that's what it tastes like. Mm. Yum. This is Kampai! 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 Oh, we're not skating today. <laughs> Except we're not skating today. Yes, we are. Yeah, we're gonna like do figure eights in the parking lot. Last one here. Uh, yellowtail. Yellowtail. AKA Hamachi. Ham 
Hamachi. Yeah, this is good. Yum. My mom always told me not to play with my food, but yeah, but it's okay it's today. Fun. It's okay today. Can I just like? Oh, you, it you, yeah, you can, you can eat a sashimi style. Yeah, you can do that. Do a little dip, dip. Just a little bit. Just get a little salt in there. Bring out the flavors. Mm. Is that good yellowtail? It's delicious. Um, yellowtail. Um, ha, ha, hamachi. Hamachi. It's delicious hamachi. Mm -hmm. Thank you for teaching me all of this. My pleasure. Pie. There you go. <laughs> yeah, that's what's up. See? She, she's learning quick. What you got working, working on for the future here? For the future, right now, I mean, I do have a lot of my focus on the Alpha Girls H3 program. Mm -hmm. We got, you know, Ruby's board out, my board out, and we have a couple other products uh, in on, on the line or whatever. So now that that's officially launched, it's definitely like a, a heavy focus of mine. And we're also working on a video for it, so that's exciting. We've been filming and editing that and just. What are you gonna call it? Uh, it's, called, it's called Alpha Angels. Alpha Angels. Yeah. All right. I mean, what we're we doing? Off, you, oh, sick! That. Does that come with a Harley Davidson bike? Oh. Uh, Not yet. Yes. <laughs> Let's go ahead and say yes. So yeah, that's that's the shirt. Alpha that we Angels. Made. Nice. We actually screen printed that in our basement. In the, wait, wait, whose basement? Uh, my basement. At oh. my house, we have a whole screen printing operation nice. going on down there. So that's exciting. I like it. So we just like to create, you know? Like yeah. that's one of the things that I feel like we're meant to be here for, is just to create mm -hmm. and just, you know, do what we love. You know, if you're gonna do something, you better do something you love and just make the best of it while you yeah. have the opportunity. So yeah, totally got that graphic in my head. And that's the beauty about having like, you know, in-house, graphic designers and screen printing oh. because we can just think of something and then in a matter of moments we can bring it to reality. I got you. Look, this mm -hmm. I made in my uh, either the studio or my kitchen house. Amazing. Yeah. Just a little bit of screen printing action. Yeah. Well, Perfect. It's heat press. Okay, fair enough. But creation's creation. <laughs> so, yeah, we're creating. It's, it's been really fun to work on, work on this video and you know we're not necessarily going with like a traditional just skate video kind of thing. Mm -hmm. We want to do something. It's more like an art project than just your average skate video. Mm -hmm. uh, it's myself and Ruby Lily, and then of course T Mag is helping with a lot of the. T Mag's gonna skate in it too. Uh, you gonna dress he's, drag? He's, he's yeah. He's got some. <laughs> <laughs> he's got some cameo clips in there that I want to so personally rad. put in there. Okay. Uh, I don't know about the drag part, but. Oh, okay. <laughs> just checking. I mean, it would be funny. It's called Alpha what? Alpha Angels. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And our program's called Alpha Girls. So okay. that should totally be fun. And um, yeah, but it's me, Ruby Lily, and then, you know, Tony's helping a lot with directing certain things and like uh, definitely teaching us how to skate properly. So I, right. I'm honored to, to be, to have that like 80s inspiration and influence and just like the history of H Street itself. Is, yeah. It's a beautiful thing. So. Yeah. When I met up with all of them, I kind of just fully immersed myself into the history of HD. So you start watching all the old videos? Oh yeah, started watching Shaka Me Not. Right? Focus. Oh, That's the first thing I got, so dope. I like, ordered that right away. I was like, I, I, so I want to see what this is all about. And you start, you just start putting things together like where the other writers are now? Like, uh -huh. like Sheffy, Mike Carroll, Greg Carroll, Matt Hensley. Like you start putting all the things together like, whoa. Right. And so, all, Danny Way, it all came from like H Street? Yeah. Trippy, kind of right? Crazy of history, for it's sure. Trippy and just what grew out of that. So yeah, doing my research on that and just educating myself on it's been, been fun. And then, then then you start to realize what you're a part of and you're like, wow, this is really awesome. Yeah. So I mean, one of my one of my goals with it is just to just make the best out of it and see what we can do with it. Enjoy the ride. Enjoy the ride, baby. Go for it, <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's sure. dope, that's so dope. Nice. Do you want to say anything else to the world? Um, Praying for your protection and well-being, your clarity and understanding, and your healing. And we're all in the struggle of life together. So if we work together a little bit more, everything's easier for all of us. So, peace and love. Yes. Did you hear that? I like that. I love that. <laughs> and remember, make food your medicine so medicine doesn't become your food. Right? <laughs> Amen to that. Ready to go skate? Um, couldn't be any more ready to go skate. All right, let's go do this. Let's do it. So I think right behind Sushi Lounge, 
is uh, Encinitas Skate Park, aka Puds Park, or some people call it Cardiff Park, but it doesn't matter. There's a skate park right behind the Sushi Lounge. Go skate before or after and come to Sushi Lounge and get your grub on. Mm -hmm. Awesome, dope sushi. Get some. Let's go skate. Let's get out of here. Let's go. I'm done. I'm gonna go skate. Get, I'm gonna go work the sake off. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Oh, check it. Look out. It's right there. That's Anita Skate Park Plaza. Right over there. another roast beef episode today we were out here with Addison Taylor today we just ate some bomb ass sushi at sushi mm -hmm. lounge right over the wall here from Encinitas Skate Plaza so you ever here skating before or after get some good sushi right there get some you want to say anything Sake! <laughs> Sake! <laughs>